Welcome to another live stream. It is draft time uh, or auction time, if that's how you like to phrase it. So uh, I am streaming my fifteen, my first fifteen hundred dollar auction championship team. Uh, we're gonna get started here in just a few minutes, uh, about seven and a half minutes. So. Uh, for those who are wondering, this is um, my uh, uh, this is a five by five roto league uh, on NSPC with an overall, uh, and I'm wearing my Sean Bouchard jersey today uh, in honor of Sean Bouchard, who won me my auction league last year. Uh, it was a um, last minute home run that ruined somebody else's win and. Kept me in first place. Uh, I flirted with uh, the overall as well. Uh, at one point, I thought I was going to win the overall, and then my team kind of stumbled down the stretch. I had to just make sure I won my league, uh, and I finished just outside of the top 12, which was the overall payout last year. I finished 13th overall. So um, I love these auctions, um, and uh, I've already done three of the $150 online auctions, kind of prep. Uh and uh, now I'm ready to go, though I did adjust my values once again, uh, this time in order to try to see if I could get a few more high price players. Uh, because while I like to spread the wealth, I've been spreading the wealth quite a bit. Uh, and so we'll see if that uh, continues here or not. So uh, we're going to get started here in about uh, six minutes. So now's a really good time to ask questions. Because uh, like I remind you guys uh, all the time, uh, these live streams, uh, you know, I'm having to manage multiple uh, different uh, screens, including one for some reason that just decided to uh, go dark. So hopefully that doesn't happen in the auction. Um, or at least if I notice it, I get it done. So uh, I don't engage a ton necessarily with the chat. Uh, because I am focused on the auction um, and uh, focusing on my values and making sure I'm getting it. And uh, the auction is much more difficult uh, to do a live stream for than a draft, right? Because with a draft, at least you have a lot of downtime. Auction, you don't. Though they do have breaks in these online auctions, which I, I uh, wildly appreciate. So, uh, like I said, now's a good time to ask questions. Um Pretty sure I'm all ready to go. I've got the uh, Cubs Mariners game on above uh, my screen and watching Logan, Gil Logan Gilbert uh, throw some innings and uh, Michael Bush hit a home run. And it is, uh, it is about that time to uh, get rolling here and uh, kind of get uh, see what we're going to do. Um, this is a, uh, a fun group uh, that includes, I think at least one overall winner um, and uh, some other really, really good people. Um, so it's uh, definitely a very interesting room. Uh, both uh, this auction and my Wednesday auction coming up uh, are tough rooms. Now, all, all of these high stakes NFBC rooms are pretty tough. So, but um, I was really interested to see the kind of like, you know, uh, how tough these rooms would be considering uh, you know, the Vegas weekend's going on to so a lot of people in Vegas, a lot of people traveling back from Vegas today. Uh, so, uh, there's not quite as many of those drafters in these rooms, but there's still some pretty good ones, um, that are online right now. So definitely interested to see how it all plays out. Um, yeah, other than that, I'm just, you know, kind of hanging out the next three and a half minutes. So the auction starts, so good time to ask questions, good time to enter, uh, enter things into the chat. So far, y'all are quiet, so uh, maybe it'll just be me talking for the next uh, few hours. But um, uh, don't really have a set plan necessarily heading into an auction like this. You know, like my main event draft last night, um, what place do you have to finish in to be the in the money? Uh, the money is the top three um, for the league, and then I think like top 12 
Um, or at least it was top 12 last year for the overall. So, but I'm going to look that up actually right now and kind of see what the overall, I think the overall is a little bit less this year. Um, is it under rules? Uh, yeah. So, so first place in this league wins 77 50, uh, second place wins 350 and then third place gets their money back top 10 for the overall this year. So overall is a little bit less this year. They, uh, they had a little trouble filling all the leagues. Um, they literally, the last league, uh, that filled was my Wednesday league. Um, and it just filled yesterday, which is unusual. So, um, but, uh, so hopefully, uh, you know, everybody's shooting for that 30 K overall. Uh, but I mean, for me, I'm really focused on winning my league. And then if I'm in a position to compete for the overall down the stretch, then I kind of shift my attention there. Uh, like I said earlier, um, I was in a position to win the overall last year. I think I got as high as second or third. Uh, okay. Uh, so the question is how I've only done a draft. How are the auctions work? Do you bid in players in random order or is it alphabetical or something? So as you can see, like there's a draft order up top, right? Starts with team one, goes all the way down um, to uh, uh, team 15. We go in order of that and we nominate a player. And then you bid on them until that player is one. Uh, and then the next team throws one out. So it's one player at a time. These take a lot longer, though the online versions are a lot shorter than the in-person uh, versions because the in-person versions, you know, people take like almost a full minute sometimes to figure out who they're going to throw out. Um, so uh, those are a lot, a lot longer, but this will take about four and a half hours. Um, once we've gotten through our uh, starting rosters, our 23-man starting rosters, then we do the reserves in Snake. So, uh, like a snake draft. So it'd be just like it uh, see, you'll see it on the screen. Um, uh, <laughs> is team Waxman team seven team Waxman is not in this one. Uh, this would be, uh, team Waxman is in my next one on Wednesday. Uh, and he said he doesn't care if I show the names. Now I've gotten a clean board just for the hell of it. Uh, but it is like the last draft of the year. So, um, and maybe he won't care so much. Uh, and so, but he is in my auction um, on Wednesday. So, uh, if you like Team Waxman, oh, all right, we're getting started here. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll back over to my value sheet because we're getting started here in about ten seconds. I assume Acuna will be the first player thrown out, but sometimes people love to just throw out random players, uh, and you can throw out whatever player you want, but. If no one else bids on him, you get that player. So you, you never really want to throw out a player you don't want unless you know you're not going to get them. So, um, all right, Mookie Betts thrown out for 36, 37. So, for those who've not watched one of my auctions before, uh, I tend to have lower value bids on. Uh, the top tier of guys. Um, so I don't tend to end up with a lot of early guys. So uh, I had, did adjust my values a little bit in order to... Uh, uh, so he went... Oh, shoot. I didn't put the names on here. That's a problem. Uh, so I'm going to have to fix that at some point. Um, you know, fix it right now. Da, da, da. It's not as big of a dish issue. And all right, so we got Ronald Acuna. I'm probably not going to be able to afford him either. So, um, he's already at 48, 49. Um, bear with me. One second as I insert all the the 56. I would have gone up to 54, um, but I'm not going to. I don't like spending that much on an individual player in general. Points. Points. 
All right, he went for fifty nine dollars. Uh, all right. So, and okay, we got Kenley Jansen thrown out. And he's already gone. Okay. All right. So we got, he went to team six. And then Julio Rodriguez. He's going to go for more than I'm willing to spend. Uh, dun, dun, dun. I'm just trying to find Kenley on my sheet. Boing points. Boing points. Boing points. Twice. So. All right, so he went for forty six dollars. Twenty one for fifty nine. Already up to forty five dollars for Tatis. So again, I don't like spending forty-five bucks on a player unless he's like a truly elite player. Um, and when I when I mean truly truly elite, I mean like the top player, top one or two players. So. Kyle Tucker up now. And he's already it's at 48 bucks. I'm just even with my pumped up values, like I'm not gonna get a 45 or 50 dollar player oh, outside of Acuna. But Acuna's got always gonna go for more. So and he went for forty nine dollars. All right, Trey Turner. Oh, I tried to go 31. Not going to happen. His AAV is 37. The AAV is not something you want to pay attention closely to because it incorporates a lot of $150 auctions, which are a different price. Uh, or a lot of the players are going to be going for different prices. So, so far, this guy's going over. Usually, guys go under. So, it looks like another auction where I'll be potentially playing the middle. He just went for 39. I thought someone uh, went 40, but apparently not. So we're now to Pete Alonzo. Pete Alonzo at 27 bucks is actually a pretty good price. It's actually right what I have him for. So interesting to see a player that I potentially could have actually gotten there if I had uh, decided I wanted to bid. All right, now we got Otani. Interesting to see where Otani goes in this. It's at 29. I'm gonna go now 32. I keep trying to bid. I'm gonna go 34. Um, and if someone wants to go more than that, 
I got him as a $36 player. Oh, if someone last second bid me up, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to play full freight. So that's another good price. So maybe maybe we're uh, starting to slow down or maybe just people are afraid of Otani because of all the stuff going on with him. Oh, we're at Bobby Witt Jr. I just did. Oh, I tried to go up to 43, uh, and it's already blew way right past that. So, not going to get He's going to go 50 bucks. Holy crap, 49, 50. Wow. Okay. It's fine. It's just a lot of your budget to be spending on one player. Um, Points. 52 bucks, 53 bucks now. What did Acuna go for? Acuna went for 59. Uh, up to Strider now. Uh, he's already way past my um, my bid amount. He's at forty five dollars. Seeing the other prices though, like you are on deck. that's not super expensive. So um, same guy who got wit also got, I think. Uh, yeah, so he woke up. So we're Alexis Diaz now. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go 16 on him. Closers is where I usually end up. We're getting some of the better players. And I got Alexis Diaz for. Uh, Sixteen dollars. So I'll take that. Um, I'm gonna throw Corbin Carroll out. Um, So an early player for me, which is somewhat unusual, but someone threw kind of a mid-range player out, and um, that's kind of where I eat. So we're up to 41 for Corbin Carroll. 42. And he's gone. Oh, I have the big sticker on. I'm supposed to turn the big sticker off. My bad. <laughs> uh, Ellie De La Cruz, here we go. This will be another one that uh, soaks up some money. There's always going to be some Ellie fans there. Um, I mean, I like Ellie, but I'm not ever going to spend what it takes to get him. He's at 25. That's actually not that bad. Still above what I have him as, but interesting. So the prices were really, really expensive early on, and now they're starting to come down. Uh, that was he went for twenty six dollars. Freddie Freeman out now. Um, he's at 37, which isn't a bad price, but it is above what I have, 38. 
thought about it. 39. Points. 40. Going once. Going twice. So. Juan Soto. He's already at 41. Only once. 42. Only once. Only twice. So one of the things I know in this auction is I've got to be really careful about playing too far in the middle like I normally do because I know there's at least one person in the room who I've drafted against multiple times or auctioned against multiple times uh, who also likes to play the middle and is very good at it. And the problem with that is when you've got two people playing in the middle, all of a sudden you have uh, the chance to um, leave money on the table. So I don't want to risk that. Uh, so I just want to be very, very careful. Also, don't want to take a number of the guys that I got in my main event last night. Oh. All right, so Aaron Judge just went for $31, which is not a bad price. Um, it was Dane Raffaella just went. I just put up. Uh, so yeah, so one of the things I don't want to do is I don't want to end up with a lot of the same, especially top-tier guys as I got last night. So I'm going to be throwing them out early. And avoiding them. Because the last thing you want is to lose a pitcher on two or three of your teams, uh, high money teams. Because that can be disastrous. All right, so now we're to Bryce Harper. Interesting to see where he goes. He's already at 25, 26, 28, 29, 30. Okay. I would have gone to 31, but, or, or I would have gone to 30, but I'm not going to go to 31. Um, Only once. twice. 32 now. Once. Once. 33. Just inching their way up. Once. Once. So. All right, Lizardo. Only once. Well, I was going to go 10, but he's going to go for 20 something, I'm sure. I'd be very surprised if he. Didn't go for close to 20. It's 17. 18. Only once. Only 
Going once. Going twice. So. Uh, Lizardo went to 19. Again, we're below AV, but we're still not really in my neighborhood. We're also not going for guys that I particularly like. So that may be one of the reasons why I uh, missed Harper's price. What was Harper's price? 33. All right. So now we got Jordan Alvarez. Another guy that I'm lower on just in general. Um, so I don't mind seeing him get tossed out. But for the most part, this has been a reasonably priced auction, which I like. I like to see. Um, you know. Uh, because right now, his AV, Alvarez's AV, AV is 34, and he just went for 33. Um, so, definitely uh, interesting. Uh, now we go to Bo Bichette. At 26 bucks already. Going once. Going twice. Oh. But for 27, it was way above my price on him. It's interesting to see uh, what players are going for way over and what players are just going for a little bit over my values. Uh, Haseon Kim. I got Kim last night, so he's not a guy that I'm really that interested in grabbing right here. Um, but I'll definitely, I mean, if he, he goes for as low as he looks like he might go for it right now, then I will jump in. Um, Only once. And that is at 14 bucks. Um, going once. Going twice. Uh, oh. 14 bucks is a really good price. Uh, but again, I just want to stay away from some of the guys I drafted last night. All right, so now we're Corbin Burns. I'm going to go 31. Uh, okay. Will I go to 30, oh, 34? Uh, I don't think I will. Oh, someone else did already. So. Going once. Going twice. So. Yamamoto. M is a $19 player. He's at $19 now, so I'll let him go. Would have liked to get one Yamamoto share. I just don't think it's ever going to happen. I'm just never going to have to pay the price that people are paying. Even though the price has come down, his AV is 28. He's at 22 right now. Um, that one bad start is really just scaring everybody. I don't think it's a big issue, personally. I just don't love guys coming over from Asia in the first year. And he's up now he's up 27, so no discount whatsoever on Yamamoto. Going twice. Going twice. And he's sold. Going twice. All right. Edwin Diaz. Let's see what the closer prices are gonna be. 
I already spent $16 on the brother Diaz. Um, I will go 20. Oh, I tried to go 20 uh, on this Diaz. I don't think I'm going to go more than that. Going once. Going once. Going twice. He's at 24. Going once. Going twice. So. Uh, you are on deck. Yeah, I went 20 bucks or 24 bucks. That's a lot on a closer, but you get the elite closer, especially with all the other closers being out. That's uh, all right. We got Chris Bassett now. Bassett's a guy I like, um, and I could definitely. Oh, oh shit. Okay. That moved way faster than it should have. Um, all right, so I'm going to throw out Scooble because I got him last night, and I'm not going to put especially two elite starting pitchers on the same team. Uh, I'm going to let other people... Grab him. Going once. Going twice. <sighs> um, but that Bassett one actually kind of hurt. Going that was once. a really good price. Going twice. Uh, that I liked so a lot. So I'm a little annoyed about Bassett going. All right, uh, Pablo Lopez now. So the other guy I would have thrown out because I got him last night. Bassett went for nine dollars. Okay, it's crazy. Um, I just couldn't react quick enough. Um, unfortunately. That's the problem with the online auction. Lopez uh, just went. Now Ozuna going. I'm okay, not getting Ozuna. Um, so seven bucks is pretty good price. Um, so Lopez went for thirty dollars. Uh, that Ozuna price is pretty good too. All right, Luis Castillo. This is one that I will hopefully be in on. I'm going to go 32. Going once. Going twice. Oh, fuck. I want to go 34. I don't. I'm not going to do it. Man, that sucks. I really wanted him. I really thought 32 would do it. All right, now we're at Matt Olson. Yeah, that sucks. I really wanted uh I really wanted uh really wanted Luis Castillo. Um I almost got him. 
But I know I'm not going to get a lot of these, you know, more expensive guys. All right, we're at Jose Ramirez. I'm going to go 30. Oh, tried to go 32, but it's already up to 34. I'm going to go 35. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to go 36. I went 36. <sighs> there we go. All right. Jose Ramirez, $36. All right. Now we're to Michael Harris. Harris. Harris just went for $32. Feel a lot better about my $36 buy of uh Jose Ramirez. All right, Tanner Bybee, one of my dudes. He's at 13. I went 14. Going once. Going twice. There you go. Buy B for 14. Going once. Whoa. Somebody just threw out Luis Robert really fast. All right, that's what I'm going up. I buy the on my sheet. Going once. Going once. All right, I'll find them later. Going twice. So. All right. Uh, $26 for Luis Robert. Evan Carter now. Sixteen bucks is just too much for me. All right, now I got to Logan Webb. Sorry, 23 bucks, 24 bucks. I have was a $24 pitcher between 24 and 25. So it's fine. I've already spent a lot more money than I'm kind of used to spending this early. Logan Webb, 25 bucks. All right, Dylan Cease now. Sorry, seventeen bucks. Going once, going twice. 
So. Oh, All right, I got Francisco on door. Okay. Only once. All right, I'm sorry. I'm not going to let you guys have him at 24 bucks, 25 bucks. Only once. I got 27. Only oh. twice. I got 28. Going once. Going twice. All right. Oh. All right. So bumping up my prices definitely has changed things. Because I now got Lindor too. Um, uh, so 19 players for 166 bucks. All right, Bobby Miller now. We're definitely spending money at a, a rate that I'm not used to spending money at. So bumping up my price is definitely letting me go a little bit more stars and scrubby. So. Uh, Going once. Going twice. So. You are on deck. I am on deck. Thanks. All right, Tyler Glass now. I know I won't be in on him. He's going to go for like 25 plus. It gives me a stack to kind of... Only one. Clear some of the guys Point off of my sheet. Uh, you went for 28 bucks. Yeah, I know I'm up. Thanks. Um, all right, I'm throwing out Josh Hader, another guy I got in the draft yesterday. He's already at 20 bucks. 20 bucks I would do, but I'm just not going to get the same top tier closer that I got last oh. time. Uh, all right. Uh, and Hater went for 20 bucks. And now we got. Cole Reagans. Uh, I will definitely did 17 on Cole Reagans. I'm going to go 19. Going once. Going twice. There we go. Reagan's for 19. All right. Uh, now we got Austin Riley. I've already got a third baseman, so I'm probably not going to even be interested in him unless he just goes for way too low. I mean, I'm not going to let someone get him for 24 bucks. Really, I'm not going to let him get him for 26 bucks. Um, 28 seems like a really fair price. Again, I'm glad someone else jumped in there. Going once. Going twice. So. All right, 
mean, 29 bucks is still a good price for Riley. It's literally what I had him for. Um, all right, Zach Wheeler. Let's see where he goes now. He's already over what I'm going to want to do. Going once. Going twice. So. Okay, I don't know who is. Oh, the screen. Sorry, guys. I apologize. I don't know what happened there. All right, we're at Devers. <laughs> yeah, I sent you the voicemail because I'm I'm working here. Sorry. Um, but calling me did help. Where did Scooble go again? I'm trying to catch up. Hold on. All right, CJ Abrams. I'm okay. Uh, all right. Thirty. What? Scoogle hit on for twenty-seven. Dun dun. dun. Oh. All right, so CJ Abrams goes for 28. All right, Vlad Guerrero Jr. He's going over. It's already at 30 bucks. I had him as like a $30 player. So that makes me happy that I don't have to worry about that one. Especially because I've spent so much money so far. He goes for 30 bucks. Again, these prices are Michael King. All right, so he's going to go for uh, more than I'm going to be willing to spend because I'm a $9 player and he's at $10 right now. Going once. Going twice. So, right, so King went for 11 bucks. Find him later. All right, Dolas Garcia. Da, da. All right, he's already at seventeen, eighteen. I got him as a nineteen dollar player. Going for 18. Oh. That team that I said likes to play the middle. Uh, just got him. So that's a good price. That's a dollar cheaper than my value. All right, Gunnar Henderson. Okay. Listen, I, I don't like Gunnar Henderson, but I'm not going to let you guys get him for fucking 12 bucks. And that's the thing about these auctions. These auctions move fast. 
like really fast. So if you're not paying attention, you can find yourself in a little bit of trouble. Henderson uh, went for 27 bucks, way above what I have for him. Uh, now we got Kevin Gosman. And he's already at 26 bucks. I'm a $25 pitcher. That 28, 29. Feel really good about my nineteen dollar call right now. <laughs> uh, wow! All right, so that team that usually likes to play the middle just spent twenty nine bucks on Kevin Gosman. Um, I just start figuring out who I'm going to throw out. Uh, George Kirby just got thrown out. He's going to go for more than I think I would be willing to spend. 26, 28. I have him as a $27 pitcher. Well, I feel good about the start of my rotation. Uh, he's a 30. Going once. Going twice. So All right. Kirby went for 30 bucks. All right, Wyatt Langford. Could this be the spot I get Langford? I don't know. He's going up pretty quick. He's already at 13, 14, 15. I'll go 16. Knock on. Just went to 17, 18, 19 already. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going that far. It's at 20 bucks. Give me some really good deals at some point. He's on 21. 22. Not doing 22 bucks on him. Give me some really good deals later. So I want to just hold off for a little bit, especially on my offense. Langford for 22. All right, Logan Gilbert. The guy I could be interested in. Depending on what his price is. I'm going to go 19. I'm going to 21. That's as far as I'm going. Nope. That is that. Oh. 22 bucks for Logan Gilbert. All right. Gabriel Moreno. Let's see what the catcher prices are. Seven bucks already. Nine bucks. Nine bucks isn't a bad price. All right. I'm going to drop Freddy Peralta because I know I don't want him. Just kind of soak up some more of that pitching money from other people. Time is a 18, almost $19 pitcher. He's already at 22, which again, not a bad price for an auction, especially an NFC auction. But this this one's been a lot more controlled than a lot of the other ones, a lot of the $150 ones I've seen. And I knew that was going to happen. Going once, going twice. So. 
All right, so Peralta goes for 24 bucks. I might get stuck with a one dollar Peralta. Uh, did not, but I'm glad I'm glad it wasn't the case. If I got stuck with a one dollar Peralta, I'd make it work. All right, so Grayson Rodriguez now. Um, he's at 20. I was a $21 player, so I'm not going to go 21. I want value, but that's a pretty good price. The prices have been very reasonable. So... I mean, some of them have been out uh, outlandish, but that's always the case. All right, so first catcher off the board. Or, well, actually, I guess not the first catcher. First big price catcher. So, Real Muto. Um, I usually end up with good catchers. I'm going to go 16. On Real Muto. I'll take a sixteen dollar Real Muto. <sighs> that always makes me feel good when I get a guy that I love at the price point. So I had Real Muto as a twenty seven dollar player, and I got him for sixteen bucks. Now, I value catcher more than other people, but in... All right, so now where does that gallon? Uh, in a two-catcher, 50-team league, you know, I'd rather not be punting catcher. So we're at gallon. Oh, I should have I should have done that. He went for 21. Fuck. Uh, that was a good price. Gallon was my ace last year in this league. All right. Uh, Aaron Nola. He's already at 23 bucks. I've got him as a $24 player, so that's more than I'm willing to, to go. 25 once, twice. Oh, twenty-five dollars for Nola. Now we're at Max Freed. Where is Freed? There he is. Um. I have him as an $18 pitcher. He's already at 19. Dun, dun, dun. 22 now. 23. So. All right. Things are moving. Corey Seager. I already got a shortstop, so I don't know that I'm going to be in on Seager, but um, definitely see where he goes here. He's already, I have him as a $20 player. He's already 23. 24 in 28 he's 27 and with the news that he's gonna be ready for opening day um i think that easily takes him kind of off of my board $26 i do like seeger though <sighs> Uh, 
All right, so now we're at to Bailey over. So I gotta pay attention because that's someone I will definitely bid on. Once I find his price. There we go. All right, I've gone 17. Going once. What the fuck? Okay. We go 19, even though that's more than I really want to spend. <sighs> fuck. Went 20. I'm not going. I'm not going more than that. Um, All right, well, that was more than I'm willing to spend on him. I love him, but I'm not overspending. All right, so now we're to Aussie Albies. And Langford go. At 24, I'll go 25. Oh, will I go 26? No, someone else went 26, so that, that answered that question. Going once, going twice. So, um. All right, so now we're Xander Bogarts. He's already over my bid amount. Is it 16? I've got him as a $14 player. So that gives me a chance to catch up and add. Bogarts went. All right, now we're Joe Ryan, another guy I'm not really that interested in. Uh, Bogarts went for 18. Going once. Going once. Going twice. So, oh, Ingram's not bad. I had, I actually had him as a seventeen dollars player. So, um, again, the price is not super outlandish on a ton of guys. All right, so now we got Will Smith. Smith at seventeen dollars. Going once, going twice. So went again for seventeen dollars. That's stuff. That's fine. Feel better about my sixteen dollar real Muto. Uh, Marcus Simeon. He's at 25. I have him at 25. Now he's at 27, 28. Going once. Going twice. So. Uh. All right, now we're at Framber. Framber already at 18, 19. Twenty-one. I'm okay letting Framber go at twenty-one. That's a good pick. 
I like that. If you, oh, never mind. He went 23. Now I don't like him quite as much. It's not bad, but. Twice. So. You are on deck. I'm on deck. One guy has not, he's only spent 20 bucks. And it was barely over. Uh, Merrill Kelly. Going once. Um, Going twice. So I tried to go 11. He already went up to 12. Uh, it's still a good price. Same guy who got Bassett for nine. Um, I am up. Uh, I'm going to throw out Nolan Jones for a dollar here. Uh, I'm just trying to find Merrill Kelly. Uh, now Kelly went for twelve dollars. Going once. Nolan Jones only at ten bucks, eleven bucks. I mean, I don't even like Nolan Jones, but this is a very fair price. I mean, I I have him as a twelve dollar player, so. Maybe not. I mean, but considering his AV is twenty one, and the AV is not uh, considered serious, um, I'm surprised to see him only going for sixteen bucks. Seventeen. Seventeen bucks. If you're a Nolan Jones truther, that uh, is a good price. All right, Rosarena. Going once. Going twice. Mm -hmm. Is it 20, 21, 22? Is that 23? Going once. Going twice. Nope. I didn't. Oh. I like what I like what uh this one team is doing, whatever team number that is. Uh 12. All right, Rutschman. Get two expensive catchers. I did that in a build recently and I liked it. Um, I'm going to go 18. Going once. Going twice. All right. Rushman and Rubel Muto again. Um, I really didn't think I was going to get any Rushman this year and now. Five, six, seven. So that means I've got 16 players and $113. Uh, I mean, I'm not. Y'all going to give me the advantage of the two elite catchers. I'm going to take it every time. So now Neil Cruz. At 17 right now, I was an $18 player. Now he's at 18. Going once. Going twice. So.
Jose Altuve. Eighteen. Oh, I didn't. My like gloss. Twice. Went for eighteen. I could have gone nineteen, but I've already spent a lot of money. Uh, uh, now they're doing Royce Lewis. Bryce Lewis, 19 bucks already. Got him as like a $12 player, $13 player. Going once. Going twice. So. All right, now we got Machado. I've already got a third baseman. I'm not gonna let you have him at 17. Twice. There you go. A <laughs> little bit of uh, price enforcing there. Little price enforcement. There you go. Now it's up to 21. So should have price enforced on L2. That's what I should have done. Oh, well, Jazz Chisholm, one of the guys I was thinking about throwing out. He's already at 19. Going once. Going once. He's at Going 20. Once. 21. Adam is a $16 player. 22. She's on for 22 bucks. Once. Cody Ballinger. Here's someone I got in my main event. So, unless he's like a really big deal, I'm probably going to stay away from it. But I definitely have a higher value on him than I think a lot of people. So, I don't know if he's. Do I go 20 bucks? Going once. I went 20. Going twice. All right. Again, little price enforcing. It's still a really good deal at 21 bucks. But again, I just don't want to load up on guys that I took in the first 10 rounds or so of my main. Or sorry, yeah, of my main. Um, all right. Now. Going once. Jaron Duran. I'm going to go to 14 on Duran, and then we'll see. Oh. I don't think I want to go 16, though. Going once. Going twice. So. All right. So I need to put in the price for Bellinger. Went to that guy, and then... Where is Duran? Duran went to this guy. Oh, Zach Eflin's up. Going 
points. All right. How far am I willing to go on Eflin? We're about to find out. Once. I'm at 17 right now. Twice. Let's go. Zach Eflin, baby. Reagan's Eflin Bybee. That's my rotation to start. Oh, oh, Volpe. Damn, they're just... Uh, do I want to go 15 on Volpe? No, I didn't. All right. I'm okay with that, though. Uh, mm. Blake's the last guy was in my queue. Uh, Going once. Um, all right, so I'm going to take him out. Find Volpe went for fourteen dollars. Going once, going twice. Snell, I got Eflin. Going once, going twice. So Snell went. Snell just went for 18 bucks. Above my price on him. Mm. Mike Trout. I'm sorry, you're not you're not getting trout for under ten bucks. I'm going twelve. Uh sorry, right. I'm not gonna go fifteen. He's already over fifteen. Only once. It's at 18. It's a good price. You are on deck. I'm on deck. I got to put some guys in my queue. Only once. All right. Who are you throwing out there? P. Fairbanks. Only once. Oh, all right, fourteen bucks. I'm I'm not doing fourteen bucks on him. Uh, <clears throat> Going once. Going twice. Uh, I'm doing fifteen bucks. All right, I'm up. I'm gonna throw out. I've got a bunch of catchers. I'm gonna throw out other catchers and just what people did. Give myself a sec to just relax um, and kind of figure out what I'm going to do here the rest of the way. Uh, check in on you guys. <sighs> yep, I, I love the price on Eflin. Zach Eflin. Zach Eflin ain't Eflin around. So William Contreras, he's already at nineteen bucks. So I got Rushman for eighteen and Real Muto for sixteen, and we just saw William Contreras go for nineteen. I feel pretty good about those buys. Nico Horner, one of my boys. And I didn't get in my main last night, so I can get him here. Once. 
Um, no. Oh, he's already up to 18 bucks. So when I go 19. No. Do I want to go 20? Oh. I think I'm going to let him go. I'm not going to go 21. That's a good price, though. Probably should have done it because I could use a batting average. Uh, all right, Christian Yelich. Uh, let me go 14. I'm not going to go 16, though. Fifteen is a good price, though. Oh. I don't have any outfielders. Uh, Glaber. There's a lot of outfield I like, so. Uh, Labor's already at 17. Going once. Going twice. So. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, yeah. I got 15 players from 96 bucks. Kyle Schwarber. I don't really feel like I need power. Well. I guess you can never have too much power. Problem is batting average. Let's see where he goes here. Uh, I'm not gonna let him go for twelve bucks. Will I let him go for fourteen though? I'm gonna go 15. I'm gonna kind of price and force here a little bit and be, you know, figure out the batting average if I get him at 15. Oh, I got him at 15. Schwarber. All right. So 14 for 91 left. Manual class A. Class A went for 18. It's a good price. Paul Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt at 16. Really good price. Sold. Really like what that team's doing. Brian Hayes. Problem is he's gonna go above my price, or he's gonna write around my price. It's fourteen dollars right now. Fifteen. I am is fifteen. Oh, 
Boing once. Boing twice. So. 17 bucks, just a little more expensive than I'm willing to go here. Kettle Marte now. Um, oh, I tried to put a nine dollar. Okay, a couple of us tried to put a nine dollar bid, and that didn't work. All right, now Noville Mar Noel via Marte. Um, you can have him. You want him at two bucks? You can have him at two bucks. There's no way you can hold on to him that long. Justin Steele. Problem is, I don't really need pitching right now. Um. Boing once. I mean, I'll go 13. I'm not going to. All right. Boing once. Boing twice. So. Justin Steele for that price is a really just good price. Um. Boing once. Uh, Dalton Varsho, my boy. I'll go 11. I'll go 13. I'm not going a penny more. Ah, another Varsho snipe. Mm. Fuck. That sucks. But I can't go about like I can't spend fifteen bucks on a player that I really should be getting at like eight or nine. Uh, Ryan Reynolds. I love Reynolds, but I got him in my main. Um, well, I mean, okay. First he was he was slowing down like six bucks, and I was like, no, that's not gonna happen. I need batting average. I guess Varsha doesn't really fit my team with I need a batting average. Reynolds went for 16 bucks. That's a good price. Um, a lot of good prices. I do wonder what the dude with like 200 fucking bucks is going to do. Because there hasn't been a lot of like really bad prices yet. So he's going to overspend in the middle. Um, Chris Sale. Chris Sale at sixteen bucks. Going once, going twice. Uh, There's more than I was willing to do. Um, you are on deck. Uh -huh, here is Chris Sale. Uh, we got Ranger Suarez. Just not someone I'm really that interested in putting on my team. Going twice. Going once. Going twice. Going once. Going twice. So. Well. Somebody bought an injured uh, or a suspended player for half the year, so why don't we give him his teammate, throw him out in the clean out for a dollar. 
and see what other people want to do there. Two bucks. Three bucks. Four bucks. I mean, four bucks is a good gamble on that McLean. This one dude just feels like I feel like he's like already like filled his entire team. What does his team look like? He has filled a lot of his offense. Tristan Casas. Not a big Casas guy, so I'm okay passing on that one. Give me a chance to. Cost us at 13 bucks, though, isn't bad. That's not really going to hurt you. But I just think there's enough good bargains at first base that I'm not I'm not paying what I think is full freight for, for a guy like Casas. All right, Christian Walker. Now the, now the guy who hasn't been spending money is looking to spend. Uh, I got 13 bucks on Walker. Oh, a little bit of bidding war here. I'm not going to go 15, though. I probably should. That's a good buy. All right. Five minute break. Boom. So I've got. Oh, 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 who did I miss? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got 14 and I've got $81 to spend. So that's $14.91. I can't do math. $14.81. All right, I'm going to save that. I'm going to check on your guys in the comments. Uh, <laughs> I do love them, but I haven't got them. I didn't get them on my main. I didn't get them here. This feels a lot like Cedric Mullins' year where, like, I didn't get Mullins in any of my high money drafts because other people came around. Um, by the way, do we have the best, uh, catcher, uh, two catcher in the history of two catcher leagues? I feel like we do, but like, you know, like I got really decent deals on them. So I'm not going to be, I mean, I have both, uh, Rushman and Real Muto, like within a few cents of each other. And I have them as like $24 players. So to get him here. For sixteen and eighteen dollars, I just that's just too good of a deal to pass up. Um, so uh, I'm 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 not I'm not like even if the other catchers like go for cheap, like I I got what a six and an eight dollar. I got fourteen dollars worth of value on my two catcher spots. I'll take that. So. Yeah, the Kettle Marte one, that one bummed me out. I don't like Kettle Marte, but that was too good of a prize. Um, I I would I tried to do nine and it wouldn't let me. So, so right now I really like the start of my pitching staff with Bybee, Reagans, Eflin, Alexis Diaz. Um, I like my offense a lot. I've got power. I've got speed. The one thing I probably need to add is a little batting average to counteract. Kyle Schwarber, but I can do that at some point because I've got plenty of the power and speed. Um, which one of the two catchers is number two? Uh, um, I mean, I guess technically Real Muto is because he went for cheaper. Um, and I've gotten like like 
50 cents cheaper or 40 cents cheaper in my uh, ranks. Um, all right, so we've got like four minutes. I'm gonna go pee real quick and then I'll be right back and I will mute myself so you guys don't hear me pee outside. All right, what is my take on Team 15? My take is they have not spent enough money and that they could be in a lot of trouble. Uh, my take also is that they follow me. Uh, they follow my podcast because they've got Varsho and Ober as two of their three players. Um, so uh, um, I worry that they're going to be left with too much money on the table. That's going to be – that's my honest opinion. Um, all right. So jumping into my first NFPC draft tonight after GGFBI, something between a DC and a Road to our online championship. Uh, if you want to learn fab, the Road to our online championship has fab. The DC doesn't. So it depends on how much time you've got to do fab in season. Um, that would be my take. Uh, you know, DCs are fun. Um, but I prefer to do those earlier in the season, personally, just because you can do slow drafts. I don't really like sitting around 50 or 50 rounds. Uh, almost like Justin here. Uh, he's sticking very close. And he's not willing to overpay. I, I like that. The problem is um, there haven't been a ton of deals, and the auction's getting back started again. Uh, like, there haven't been a ton of really great deals, and so – uh, you may not get those later. So now we got Jackson Churio thrown out. Um, I'm not a big Churio guy, but I'm not going to let them get Churio for less than like seven or eight dollars. I went seven. Uh, I'm going to go nine. I'm just like a nine dollar fifty cent player, but I have zero Jackson Trio. And ah, all right, well, I tried. <laughs> I'm not going more than I'm not more going more than ten. He's at ten right now, so. All right, so now we got Camilo Duvall. I don't have a lot of money for my pitching, but I do need another closer, so let's see where he goes here. Um, I'm going to go 16. Going uh. once. I don't want to go 18. Okay, someone else went 18. Going once. Going twice. So. All right. Going for 18. It's right where we're at him. Yainir Diaz. 
I don't need a catcher. So let's see where he goes. He's already 11, 12, 13. He went for 13. It's not a bad price, but once again, I got my two catchers, and I'm pretty feeling pretty good about it. See ya, Suzuki. I'm going to go to 15. Nope. I don't want to go to 17. He's already at 18. Okay. Well, Seo is a guy I kind of had hoped to maybe end up with, but not this one. He's at 21. See, now the guy who hasn't spent money is spending money, and he's overspending. Oh, except for the other guy went on top. Uh, 22 bucks for Sayas is, is uh, a little over the top. All right, Christian and Carcino Strand. I'm going to go eight. I was gonna go ten. Now he's already eleven. All right, I can I can let him go. I'm not gonna go thirteen. Only once. Said fourteen. I was a fourteen dollar player. So. Once. George Springer. And nine. Then eleven. I got those twelve dollar player, so I'm not gonna do twelve. Only once. 13. Only once. Only twice. So. See, that's the thing. Like, there are some prices are definitely going over where they probably should a little bit, or at least according to my projection. But, like, not that much over where it's like, okay, like, we've got a problem here, and that later there's going to be massive deals. I don't think they're going to be massive deals. Uh, we're at Paul Seawald now. He's at 15 bucks, which is more than I'm willing to spend on him. 16. See, for two more dollars, you could have gotten a manual class A. go for once. Once. Uh, Logan O'Hobby just went so let's see he went for All right, Sal Perez, we're just, they're just throwing out catchers, which is fine with me because I already got my catchers.
And see, so here's the thing. Sal Perez now going for 16 bucks. It's what I got Rio Muto for. There's a difference between staying true to your values and taking the deals where they come. And I'm sorry, but like you, you if you were willing to go $16 on a catcher, you should have gone on Rio Muto. All right, so we got a Glacius now. I'm going to go 17 on him. Again, 19. I'm, I'm not going 20 on him. See, this is where people have a little bit, some people have a little bit too much money, and now they're overspending. Now, a closer is a place I will overspend because there's a finite number of them, and you want to get guys that are actually going to get saves. Wilson Contreras, who was one of my catchers in my main last night. I'm going to take catcher off my sheet. Uh, all right, so he went. I'm on deck. Jan Gomes for a dollar. Yeah, that's how you afford the rest of your team if you're going to spend everywhere else. Ah, somebody went two. Oh, somebody went three. <laughs> I'd much rather have a $18 Rushman than a $3 Jan Gomes. All right. Um... Nominate Tay Oscar. See where he goes. He's at ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. 13 is a decent price. I have him as a little over a $13 player. Going once. Going twice. There you go. You finally got a player. Going once. Uh, we're at Alex Bregman. Only once. 15. I'm going to move about a 17, 70 half dollar player. I'm not going to go 16. I want once. more value than that. Because it's 16 now, definitely not going to go 17. Only once. Only twice. Went for 16. Good price. So now Team 15 is starting to spend some money. Yeah, Bryce and Stott now. Uh, he's at 9, 10, 11. All right. Once again, just not going to be in on that. I like Stott, though. Going once. Going twice. He went for fourteen dollars, and I had him for about a fourteen dollar player. Going twice. Sold. All right, waiting for the next player to come out. Andres Jimenez. 
I don't have a second baseman, so that's not a bad one. Uh, he doesn't give a great batting average. Let's see. Where do I have him in S? There's fifteen dollar players at seventeen. La da da da. Nineteen. Ooh. Again, see this guy who who wasn't spending money early. Like, if you're gonna overspend, why not overspend early? Or at least on the big money guys. Um, because now you're spending nineteen dollars on like a fifteen dollar player just to get rid of your money. Jewel Musgrove. Musgrove's actually a good deal here. Um, I just don't trust the shoulder, but that was a really good deal. All right, Cal Raleigh now. Catcher. Catcher's dumb. Boing whats. Eleven bucks. It wasn't a bad price for Raleigh. But I don't need catchers. All right, Shane Bieber. The Biebs. I know I'm not going to be on him. Sorry, 12. I've got my ten dollar pitcher. See, it's funny. Most auctions, you get like the overspending early. Um, in this auction, the prices were fairly reasonable early, and now you're seeing some overspending. Bieber went eighteen dollars. I'm sorry, but I'll take a nineteen dollar Reagan's or a seventeen dollar Eflin over that all day long. Tanner Scott. Um, I don't know what his price is going to be. I know he's he's, he's been better later in the seat, in the uh, spring training, but I still worry about his control. But I mean, a nine dollar closer. Oh, I tried bid nine. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Going once. Going twice. I wasn't going to go eleven. So, uh, so he goes for ten. Spencer Torkelson. Uh, I'm debating this one. He's at 11 bucks. He's just been so bad in spring that I'm a little worried, but I shouldn't be. Yeah, I let him go. He went for 11. That's a really good price. But again, there's so many first basemen. Uh, Adbert Alzale. He's one of my closers in the main. So, not going to be jumping into this one unless he just goes obscenely low. Uh, 
I'm just going 12, which is fine. Going twice. So I had him around that. Uh. All right, now we got Craig Kimbrell, who Paul once talked me out of and tried to talk me back into this year, and I'm not falling for that, Paul. Uh, Went for 12. Fine. People under 50 bucks are now. David Bednar. I'll go 14 on Bednar. I will not go 16 on Bednar. Maybe I should, but I'm not going to. Going once. Going twice. So. Bednar. All right. Andres Munoz. Ooh, he's already at 16, 17. Wow. 18. Holy crap. I thought he would be a guy that maybe I'd get. <laughs> I was I was wrong. 18 bucks. Could have gotten class A for that. I know auction dynamics, you know, but still. If you're willing to go 18 on that, like why wouldn't you be willing to go 18 earlier? All right, now we got Evan Phillips, who I've not really been in on, but might be in on here. Except for he's already at 14, 15, 16, 17. Whoa! Now people are panicking because they don't have either a first or a second closer. Um, wow, 17 bucks on Evan Phillips. You are on deck. You near Cano. Let's see Cano. Two bucks. That's not a bad price. There you go. Uh, well. Let's, let's throw out Johan Duran and see. And people throw willing to throw stash money out there. Not me, but there are people. Seven bucks. Eight bucks. Nine bucks. It's going to be his second stash if he gets them. All right. I don't like stashing that many players, especially for potentially months. But that's your money, not mine. Lane Thomas now. The 14 bucks above my bid on him, 15 bucks. All right. Going once. Going twice. So. Uh, what did he go for? 16 bucks? See, again, this guy who saved all his money is now overspending his money. But he doesn't have the most amount of money yet now. Dansby Swanson. Only 
points. Okay. No. no, no. I'm sorry. You don't get Dan's fee for fucking seven or eight bucks. All right. <laughs> huh. I'll go 13. I'm a $17 player, so. 13 bucks for Swanson. All right, I'll take Swanson for 13 bucks. Boom, I'll take that all day long. All right, Nolan Arenado. Once. Once. Aaron, I for 10 bucks is a oh. really good price. Way too good of a price. Damn, I should have jumped in on that. Um. All right, Clay Holmes. Once. I'll go up to 10. Oh, I won't go more than that, though. Oh, man. This one guy's killing the auction right now. Team six. Every player has been he's gotten has just been a really good price. Sixteen bucks on Clay Holmes. I don't know what we knew about some closers and prices. Myself might have to overspend on a closer. Or, all right, so we got Jordan Romano thrown out. Uh, news on him is supposedly okay. I'll go, I'll go seven. Hmm. I want to go nine. I'm going to go nine. I'm not going 11. Again, the same dude is getting all the fucking good deals. Uh, I just, I, I don't trust the health on that. This is a tough auction right here. All right, Sunny Gray. Is it 11 bucks? That's fine. That's around what I have him for. Twelve. Going once. Going twice. All right. He went for twelve bucks to. Oh shit! Wrong team. There we go. Twelve bucks. Francisco Alvarez. Okay, that gives me a chance to look up where this guy went. All right, he went to team three. Going once. Going twice. No. Eight dollar Francisco Alvarez. All right, Ryan Helsley. Not a big Helsley guy, but I'm gonna go eleven on him. <laughs> Not gonna do it. God damn it! 
Oh, fuck. Oh. How come other people get out of the wire and I fucking can't? Uh, all right, well. Carlos Estevez. Six dollars on Estevez. I'm going to go seven on Estevez. All right. I'd rather overspend a couple bucks on Estevez than overspend a couple bucks on all the other guys. So that gives me... Okay, and then... 1261, right? Yeah. So I got my second closer. See how I feel about that later on. <laughs> uh, now we got Tyro Estrada. Jonathan India. Boy, what? I like India. With seven bucks on India. Boy, what? Boy, twice. There we go. Seven bucks on India. All right, 11 players, 54 bucks. Josh Lowe. Okay, so this one dude is just buying up all the fucking stashes. Oh, between two guys, actually. I'm okay, not. I have so few outfielders. Just realized this. I didn't just realize it, but still a lot of outfielders I like. Um, where did Estrada go? Clear for ten bucks. Going once, going twice. So. Hmm, that's a name I can throw out. See what people do with that. Carlos Rodon. Okay, I'm not really going to be interested in Rodon. I don't think. That's the price is just crazy low. You are on deck. I am on deck. Travis Darno, so another catcher. Appreciate them throwing catchers so I can try and catch up a little bit. You are on. I am up. Give me a second while I figure out what I'm going to do here. Um, all right, I know what I'm going to do here, actually. I'm just stalling for time. I'm going to throw out Henry Davis and see if people kind of go a little crazy on that. Especially all the people who don't have a second catcher yet. Only five bucks right now. Six. A little surprise. Only six bucks. Right. I'm surprisingly went for six bucks. All right, Spencer Steer. Sorry. 
Friday at 10, 11. All right. Not going to be in on that then. Only once. Only once. Going twice. So Spencer's here went for $15. Again, that, that one guy trying to spend his money. That's Ruiz. 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 Going once, going twice, so all right. Nick Pavetta. We just went there. Ten bucks. I like Pavetta some, but I don't have a ton of money, so I don't think I'll be getting him here. Nah, he's a ten. Went to eleven. All right, I'm his twelve dollar pitcher. I think. Um, Where are we at? We're at 11. Okay. It's 12 bucks. Uh, that I went to him for $12. I missed where Rodon went. Oh, Rodon went for eight bucks. Oh, wow. That's actually a good price. All right. Now we got Jose Leclerc. Uh, nine, ten. Going once, going twice. So, clerk just went for like uh, you got for thirteen. We got Connor Wong. Only once. Nick Castellanos. The nine. Only once. I'm going to go ten. Oh, Only twice. I, tr I tried to go ten. Uh, do I want to go twelve here? Only once. Twice. No, I didn't. So. Christian Javier. Seven bucks for Javier is not bad. Robert Suarez. I'll go five. I'm going to go six. Someone goes eight. Only 
Hang on. We go 13. Holy crap. That one save already makes him uh, a lot more valuable than what people originally were paying. All right, now we got Brios. Uh, Spores went fucking fifteen. Wow. Brios, ten bucks. That's not bad. Now eleven. Eleven bucks for Brios. Cedric Mullins. You know I'm gonna go on this one. Let me go eight dollars. Let me have my eight bucks. Fuck yeah. Mullins at eight bucks. Hey, it's my first crossover guy for my main. But at eight bucks, I just can't complain. I got 10 players and $46. Jake Cronenworth. Josh Naylor. He's up to 11. That's okay. I don't really want to spend $11 right now. Bryce Miller. Uh, ooh. Damn it, I was gonna go 10, but I really can't afford that right now. Oh, good, someone else spent on Bryce Miller. So I love him, but I just can't afford that. Bryce Miller for 12 bucks. I feel like that's a good you price. I am on deck. Thank you. We got Brandon Lau. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm going to throw out Hunter Green. Really, like six bucks on Hunter Green. I mean, I'm not going to spend more. I'm not going to spend that kind of money on Hunter Green, but somebody should. Is it nine bucks? Ten bucks. Okay. I'll wrap to ten. I would have thought he would have gone for more than ten, but 
Maybe the love for Hunter Green is starting to dissipate, as it should. All right. One guy over 75 bucks, nobody else even close, or no one else is, uh, oh, a couple people in the mid-60s. Aaron Savale. Going once. Going once. Going twice. Ooh, nine bucks on Savali feels like a, a lot of money. Going twice. So. Jordan Walker. Uh, he's already over my amount on him. Okay. Oh, is it 10 bucks? I am a six five and fifty cent player. Too much for me. Vinny P. I'll go, I'll go 10. I'm going to go 11. I'm probably out at that price. Once. Damn it. It's all right. I got Vinny P on my main. It's still a really good price, but I just, I don't want to spend a quarter of my remaining budget. All right. Uh, Yandy Diaz. We're going nine. Oh, oh. Ah, damn it. I kind of need his batting average really badly. Uh, but I don't want to spend 12 bucks on him. That's all right. I'll find batting average somewhere else. Thirteen bucks. This is why I like to get batting average early. Jake Berger. I love Berger, but I cannot take that batting average. Unless... Okay. I was about to say, I was like, I'm not going to let you have him for three bucks, though. Uh, All right, there we go. He's up. He's up to eight. That's still a good price, but nine. Okay. I I can't. I can't take on what his potential batting average floor is. I like that one, though. Shoro Imanaga. Imanaga. Sorry, at ten watts. Oh, he's eleven. 
getting away from two of the people with most money. Well, I guess they're not one. They're like the second tier of most money. Going once. Going twice. All right. So. Charles McCormick. Go three on McNeil. Going once. Or sorry, uh, Tyler O'Neill. Going once. Going twice. So that was a good price on O'Neill. Walker Bueller. Going once. This guy's stashing so many guys. What are you doing? Brandon Drury. Going once. Going twice. Going once. Going twice. So. All right, just trying to catch up here. Going once. Going twice. Max Muncy so just went. Can't take that batting average. Let's just decide to just punt batting average, but I don't want to do that because the overall. Jorge Soler. Slayers are already at eight bucks. Going twice. So six bucks. All right, so we got Kyber Ruiz. Going once. Ten bucks for Ruiz. That's, yeah, that's, is what it is. Going once. Going twice. So. You are on deck. I am on deck. I'm ever Zario. Going once. Going twice. People trying to get their first dollar player. Go for two bucks, though. No, oh, they're going for two bucks. Going once. Going twice. So. I'm going to throw out Byron Buxton. You are Block someone's util spot. Four bucks on bucks since not bad. Going twice. 
Five bucks now. Six bucks now. Only once. Only twice. So. Is that gill off? Only once. Only twice. Only once. Only once. Only twice. So. I'll do it for nine dollars. All right. Hunter Brown. Mm. Mm -hmm. I tried to go 11, but I'm not going to go 12. So many other guys I like. Thirteen bucks on Hunter Brown's not bad. I had him as like a twelve dollar player. Uh, I know some people like him more than me. Would have I would have taken him at eleven, just for the innings and case. Sean Murphy now. It's like people can see my cue, guys. That I don't want to throw out. Dun, dun, dun. Bur Nine dollar burger is less than five guys. It is good joke. That's a good joke. I am team thirteen. Dun, dun, dun. Eleven bucks for Sean Murphy. No, it's not a bad price actually. And I just have all my catchers. And have had them for a while. Luis Arise. I hate to say it, but this might actually work for me. Oh, wait, no. I've already got Arise only second base eligible, so I can't really bid on him right here. So I'm going to put in my util slot, which I do not. <sighs> Running out of options to help my batting average is a problem. But I have ideas. Only once. Only twice. <sighs> uh, let me set eyes. Only once. Only twice. So. Uh, our eyes went for ten dollars. I need to refresh my screen and then get uh, Austin or Parker Meadows. Dun, 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 dun. Buxton went to team four for like six bucks. Mm -hmm. Uh, Anthony Santander, a guy I usually really like, but I just can't do the batting average portion of things right now. Need better batting average, guys. I thought I saw this guy go already, but maybe not. Oh, I did. Okay, please. That's a good price on Santander. But, of course, they got him. Uh, Riley Green. 
Not really a guy that I tend to like. Um, I don't even know where he is on my sheet. He used one for eight bucks. Bo Naylor. Oh, there's Riley. Uh, Once. Oh, Neil. Twice. So. Brett Beatty. There's your dollar player. Going once. Going twice. <sighs> so. All right. Brandon Nimmo. I'll go seven on Nemo. Only once. Damn it. I'll go nine on Nemo. That hurts. I didn't want to go nine on Nemo, but I need the batting average. Only once. Going twice. All right. So Nemo for nine. Which leaves me with nine players and thirty-five dollars. <sighs> Josh Young. I like Josh Young, but oh wait, no, thirty-seven dollars because I can't do math. I like Young, but don't really need that right now. So. Garrett Cole. I was going to throw out Garrett Cole next. I go $2. $2. This guy's got a lot of stashes, I feel like. Team 10. Maybe he doesn't. You can have Garrett Cole for three bucks. I already stashed Garrett Cole in my main. Brian Wu. Not a big Wu guy. He's already at seven dollars, which is what I have him beg for. So that's okay with me. Only once. Only once. Only twice. So you are we just went for nine dollars. I am on deck. I'm gonna have to figure out who I want to throw out. Throw him out. That'll soak up some other people's money. Uh, Dane Dunning. For a dollar. Dunning's not a bad dollar. Though I have him for like about a dollar. <laughs> All right. Um, Just taking guys off my sheet while I wait to throw out Christopher Morrell. Like this guy already went. No, he didn't go. Okay. There you go. Soak up some of that money, guys. Only once. Only once. Soak up some of that money. 
Ten bucks on Christian Morrell. Going <laughs> once. Going twice. So I don't know who that was. Oh, Jonah Heim. Okay, that's fine because I don't need a catcher. Uh, where did Josh Young go? Uh, Trevor Story. Don't need middle infield. Guys are gone. Uh, he just went. Alec Bohm. Bohm's a guy I could be interested in normally, well, or with this build. But I kind of have a couple different guys pegged for middle infield, and he's going to go for more than I think I'm willing to spend. Once. Uh, Going twice. So, Bone is kind of not going to be on this Going team. Once. Going twice. So. All right, so Bone just went for nine bucks. I just swear I go for twelve. Mitch Garver going right now. I saw Paredes, again, a guy I normally would go for, but not in my current build. Only once. Only once. Only twice. So. Paradis just went for four bucks. That's a really good price on Paradis. Anthony Rendon. I wouldn't put him on anybody's team. Must let my own. And he went for a dollar. All right, Ezekiel Tovar. I just don't understand all the love for Tovar. Nine bucks on Tovar. Wow. Ten bucks for Tovar. Wow. Okay. Whatever makes you happy. Willie Adamas, I, that's a guy that I love. I just can't. I, I have got my middle infield full. Um, I'm gonna, I guess I could put him in a util, but I'm not going to. Going once. Going twice. So. I like that. Seven bucks on. 
Adamas. Will Benson. Problem is my batting average. <sighs> That's a good price. Oh, someone else went. Okay. Going once. Going twice. Going once. Going twice. So. Stephen Kwan. I'll go four dollars in Kwan. Oh, well, I go six dollars or seven dollars. I'll go seven dollars. I need the batting average. I need the batting average. Going once. Going twice. So there we go. There's there that fixes my batting average issues. Nimmo and Quan. What a pun. I've got Schwarber and then like the most punchless guys in fucking outfield. <laughs> uh, all right, now we got Yoshida. Um, all right, what does that leave me with? That leaves me with eight players and $30. Is that right? Yeah. Michael Garcia. And this is one of the guys I had pegged. So let's see what happens here. I'll go five. Oh, fuck. Going once. I went eight. Points. You want to go nine? You got him. Going once. Going twice. There you oh. go. All right. All right. Now I definitely don't have batting average issues. But I also don't have money. I've got. Seven players for twenty-two bucks. You Darvish. I don't have the least amount of money, but I don't have much money. Only once. Only twice. Like you Darvish at eleven bucks, I definitely can't do something like that. You are on deck. Uh, I have. I'm not gonna lie, this is not my favorite team. Chris Bryant. Okay, five bucks for Chris Bryant. I don't care about that. Going once. Going twice. So you are I still actually may have batting average problems. But everything else is good. Uh, I'm up. I'm going to throw out Jose Alvarado. You go three bucks on Alvarado. I'm not going to go five, though. Or six. Or seven. <laughs> Going once. Or nine. Well. Once, going twice. So uh, nine bucks for Alvarado. <laughs> Probably not a bad buy though. Going once. Going twice. AJ Puck right now. So Ryan Pepio. Seven players, 20 bucks. 
Only once. Only twice. Only once. Only twice. Oh my goodness, Pepe. Yeah. A couple people with way too much money, I think, right now. You got five teams with 40 bucks. It's a lot of teams with 40 to 50 bucks. Right now, we got Heimer Candelario. The five. Going once. Going twice. So. Um. Pepio went for 19 with six bucks. Alex Lang with six bucks. Going once. Going twice. Going yeah. once. Going twice. So. Luis Camposano. There's AJ Puck. Where did Puck go? Only once. Only twice. Only once. Only twice. So. All right, Mitch Keller. Only once. Only twice. So. We got Evaldi. Going once. Going twice. So Evaldi just went for a really nice price, even though I'm not a big Evaldi guy. Five bucks. Going once. Jackson Merrill. Two bucks. So there you go. Danny Jantz. This guy is just stashed too many guys. Like this is sorry. This is and he's not a newbie to I don't think there's any newbies in this. Like you shouldn't be doing that. I don't know what you're thinking. Uh Starling Marte for a dollar. Not a bad price. Going once, going twice. So, Matt Chapman for a dollar. Again, not a bad. Pretty good dude to get right here, but I, I can't hurt my batting average, and I I don't have a corner spot. I just have a first base spot available. Where is everybody else on first base and corner? 
few people who need them. Tyler McGill. He was going to be a potential reserve guy for me. I like that pick. I like that one a lot. Get them now for a dollar and don't have to waste it on the reserves. Let's see what this team wants to throw out. Ryan Jeffers for two bucks. So two dollar Ryan Jeffers. You are on deck. Josh Bell for a dollar. Not bad. Uh, okay. I'm going to throw out Mason Miller. I think some people will go crazy over him. There's still a lot of money out there. Seven bucks already. Well, I'm glad I did that. Eight bucks. Uh, Mason Miller. For eight bucks. Alec Thomas for two bucks. It's all right. Jackson, I thought about throwing him out, but I was afraid of getting him in a dollar, and I don't want him in my reserve or on my, my utils block. That's what I was afraid of. Oh, no, someone too. There you go. Uh, uh, what's that? Five minute break. Okay. Uh, I think he went to this team. He went. I don't remember where he went, but I can find it real fast. Uh, went to that team. Oh, no. Wrong team. I don't know if we saw it. Candelario went to. Um, Yoshida, who went a while ago, team three, eight bucks. All right, I think I'm close to caught up at least. He's gone, but I can't. Oh, I think I know where he went. And then Matt Chapman just went. Team. And Josh Bell just went. That team. All right, check in on you guys, see how you're doing. Uh,
massively underrated pick on uh, by uh, Zimmerman on Jeffers. Mm, I don't know if I'm a, a big fan of Jeffers, honestly. Yeah, I like I like uh, Edward Julian as well, but um, I don't have a middle infield spot, so I would have to put him at util. I don't know if I love that. Um, we'll see though. He's still available. I think uh, there's still a lot of middle infield available, and unfortunately, my team just does not have a lot of flexibility. Not in love with this team. Check with my projections say I mean, my projections say I'm probably in first but yeah of course they do these are my projections um, but got some batting average issues still uh All right, I'm going to go pee real quick, and then I'll be back. Um, I'll mute myself so you guys don't hear it. All right, starting back up again. Now is the time where I switch from putting guys in my queue that I don't want to putting guys in my queue that I do want. Um, oh, and of course, the first guy that gets thrown out is a guy that I do want in Anthony Rizzo. So I'm going to go three bucks on him. Oh. Um, not going to go four, though. Oh. That hurts. Hold on. I wanted Rizzo. Still don't have a first baseman. Uh, for four bucks the hill. Jordan Montgomery. Oh, I love Montgomery. Too worried about when he's going to sign. I get four bucks. I'll let him go. Uh. I think if we get to like the day before the season, my next auction, he might be a dollar days guy. I'll get him there. Um, still unsigned. Cutter Crawford. Oh, three, and four. No, I don't definitely want to go five. So many people with so much money. Uh, Going once. Going twice. Crawford for eight bucks. Wow. That is some auction dynamics right there. Maybe they've got them valued. Oh, nine dollars. So some people with too much money. Christopher Sanchez. 
I'll go five on Sanchez. No, Zimmerman, whatever your name is. Yeah, it's Zimmerman. Fuck it. Ah, uh, seven bucks. I'm not going half my remaining money. He's eight bucks. Y'all have too much money. All right, well, I guess that one's out. Nolan Gorman, this is one of the guys that still available in the middle infield that I was thought about before I filled it up. But batting average again, an issue here. Uh, going once, going twice. So Gorman went for six. That's a steal. Feels like a steal. Uh, James Outman going right now. Going once, going twice. So seven bucks. Austin Wells turn out. Going once, going twice. So. <sighs> Kenta Maeda, Sardala. Going once. Oh, he's going for a dollar? Oh, I thought he was going for a dollar. Nope, three dollars. Four dollars. Going once. So now, now I'm definitely part of the auction where like, I don't want to be throwing out guys I don't necessarily want. Once. Going once. Going twice. So. Give my eight up for seven dollars. That feels like an overpay. Corey Polanco. Going once. Going twice. So. Polanco. Uh, Jeremy Pena now. Going once. Going twice. Oh, eight dollars on Jeremy Pena. Nine dollars on Jeremy Pena. Going once. Going twice. So Alejandro Kirk, he was my main event catcher too. Going once, going twice. So he just went for five bucks. You are on deck. I am on deck. Leody Tiveras. Going once. Going twice. Going once. Going once. Going twice. So. Oh, four bucks for Leody. All right. Let's throw out Will Smith, the pitcher. I get him for a dollar again for a dollar, but I got a feeling other people will bid on him. Already. Uh, two, is it three? The four? The five? 
Morning Horns. Morning Horns. Soul. Soul for Will Smith or five dollars. Brenton Doyle. Don't really need speed. His batting average is kind of a question mark. So I'm gonna let him go. Once. Morning twice. Morning twice. Morning twice. So. Brandon Fop, my dude. No one may be betting on him. I'll go five. I'll go six. I'm going to go seven on him. Once. Going twice. Nope. I got fought in my main, so. Makes me sad. Uh, Andrew Vaughn. Not a Vaughn guy. There's the Andrew Vaughn. Vaughn just went for eleven dollars. Holy crap! That's interesting. That's I mean, all right. Verlander. Don't really want a guy starting on the IL. But oh, I was about to say a dollar just seems like too good of a deal to pass up at that point. Five, okay. I want to go more than five. Going once. Going twice. So. That's a good price on Verlander, even if you got to stash him. Kodai Senga. Definitely not going on once. that one. I just... Going twice. Give him two bucks, though. Jack Flaherty. Oh, Reese Hoskins. Go four. I guess six. You need a first baseman. I'm not going eight. Holy crap. All right, well, I wanted Hoskins, but I'm not going nine bucks on him. Uh, John Ho Lee. I guess I'm going to be really testing the uh, depth of first base here. Going once, going twice. So, Ryan Mountcastle. Going once. I'll go to oh. I'll go five on Mountcastle. Going twice. I'll go five on Mountcastle. I'm a big Mountcastle guy, but that's batting average. That's all right. 
I'll do Mount Castle. I think it's my first share of Mount Castle this year. A little more batting average. Garrett Mitchell. All right, so I now have six for 17 is what I should have. Yep. Justin Turner, that's the one I thought about. I would have had to go five on him too, so. Oh. All right, now I feel a little bit better about my batting average. What Merrifield? All right, Louis Varland. In the rotation. Who wants to get him? Ah, uh, uh, last second. Going once. Going twice. So you are on deck. Going once. Front Rooker. Going twice. All right, so I need an outfielder, utility player. Uh, throw up Taylor Ward for a dollar. Oh, oh. That escalated quickly. Hmm. Only once. Only twice. So. Oh, here we go. One of my dudes, Brendan Donovan. Only once. And the batting average guy. Only twice. Plus multi-positional eligibility. So. All right. There's my. Fourth outfielder. That's five players for fourteen dollars. Oh, Griffin Jacks out for four bucks. Edward Julian, there he is. Once, going twice. So, JD Martinez. I thought about throwing him out. Going once. Mm, don't want to go to. Oh, I tried to go to three. I got him in my main, so I'm okay letting him go. Giancarlo Stanton. Shocked by all the late draft love for him. I need lots of pitchers. Tristan McKenzie's not going to be one of them, though. Going once. 
20 points. Going once. Going twice. Going once. Going twice. Going once. Going once. Going twice. Wow, eight bucks in McKenzie. So, Good. Take some more, more of that money off the table. Where does Guriel? Going once. Going twice. So. Ryan McMahon. Going once. Going twice. So. Louis Castro is a guy I usually like, but. Going once. Not here. Going twice. Going once. Going twice. So. Charlie Morton. Going once. Five bucks on more than stuff, Dad. So. Who's that, Bray? You? Maybe I should have done Bray for a dollar instead of uh, McMahon or uh, Mount Castle. Going twice. Oh, it's over. He's now gone. Three dollars. Going once. Going twice. So. Shailene Gilliers for two bucks. Going once. Going twice. So. Um, you are on deck. All right. Who's someone I don't mind getting, but also that I think someone also outbid me on? Anybody like Jack Solinsky here? No, oh, wait, it's not me. John Gray. Going once. Going twice. So. Right. I'm going to nominate you Kikuchi for a dollar with the expectation that somebody's going to outbid me. Oh, there he goes. Going once. Going twice. Going once. Going twice. So. Uh, France. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, John, that's a good one. Now is the game of throwing out guys that other people can spend money on because there's some people with way too much money. Oh, there goes Jasper Wixie. <laughs> but. I don't necessarily throw them guys I really want for a dollar with everybody having, with so many people having so much money. I mean, I've got 14 bucks for five spots, so it's not impossible that I can. 
Uh, outbid people, but Mr. Cortez. I got Cortez my main, so it's the only reason I'm not going to bid here. He's already up to four bucks, so. There's so many pictures I like. Going once. Um, Going twice. So. Oh, I'll go two on bail. I'm gonna go three. Definitely not gonna go five or six. Yeah. Okay. And uh, only once. I made that easier. Only twice. There's a good so. one. There's a good one. There's a good one. Kyle Finnegan. There's a really good one. Only uh, 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 uh. once. Only twice. So. Dun, 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 dun. Going once. Going twice. Charlie Blackman for a dollar. You can have him for a dollar. So right. how close are some of you to being done? Oh, there's a good one. Tyler Stevenson. Going once. All right, so light for team seven means two players. Kyle Harrison, I don't care about you. Look, you're good for my Giants, but I mean, as far as I'm concerned, Going for twice. Going twice. this. Only once. Point points. So. Harrison Bader. Point points. Don't care about you either. Point points. So. Uh -huh. So many pictures. Point points. Point points. You know, there's still a lot of pictures that have to be drafted, oh. so I don't want to get like ahead of myself and be like, oh, look at all these awesome pictures that I can choose from. Everybody's going to need pictures here, all right? Because I assume. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. There's a team with only three pictures at this point. I mean, I guess only a five, but. Gavin Stone, that was the one I was going to throw out. There you go, six bucks on Gavin Stone. Use that money. All right, there's still two teams with 20 something bucks. All right. One. <laughs> this is one of the teams is trying to spend it right now, but. Go nine if you want to go nine. Oh, wow, he didn't. So two teams still with Ooh, twenty know. some bucks. It's fucking insane. Frankie Montas for a buck. Opening day starter, Frankie Going Montas. Twice. Going twice. Going once. Going twice. All right. So. You are up. Uh -huh. I understand I'm up. But I'm just adding guys to my queue. Okay. 
Uh, I'm gonna throw out Chris Paddock. I remember. Oh no, I got out Going once. Going twice. So there you go. Oh, so I did I forgot to take the big sticker off? Oh, when I refreshed it. Huh. That's my bad. Is that Paul's voice in the background? I wish. Having Paul in the background would be nice. Jake Fraley. Now I've, I've moved away from my sheet and I'm just going based off of kind of memory and thoughts. Garrett Whitlock. Two bucks. Oh, somebody went three. Going once. Going twice. So. Going once. Going twice. So. Uh, I don't even know that was a loose right Hefo. Lalise Ren Hifu. Yeah, $30. I mean, but that's a little bit of auction dynamics. People don't, some people don't have money. Uh, Ian Hap got thrown out. He's a little banged up right now, which is why I think it's been this long since until he got thrown out, but it could be a good purchase. So oh, it's seven bucks right now. Going once. Going twice. Still one team over 20 bucks, so he's getting eight right now. So going once. Going twice. Okay. Going once. Going twice. So there you go. Oh, wait. No, he still didn't buy it. Still a team with 21 bucks left. Jesus fucking Christ. Unreal. Deal Hall, he was a guy I was going to throw out. I didn't really want, but. Only once. A buck. I'm going to. Oh, y'all for a buck. A little surprised by that. But, all right. Um, Reed Detmers. He was a guy I thought about throwing out. Ooh, I like that one, Colton. That's a good name. So, added him to the queue. I'm going to look at All right, so right now, some people. So, oh, and team two has got just so much money. So does this team. Oh, Elo is the guy I was waiting for. So, oh. I don't want to go five on your way. I will, though. Nope, I won't go six, though. He's yours. He's yours. You can have him. All right, well, now i got to figure out another hitter. Eloy oh. was the guy I was waiting on. Dun, 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 dun. That's the guy I could get. Like him. Dun, dun, dun. This is such a weird build for me. I don't know if I like it or not. I mean, obviously my projections say I'm going to win, but my projections always should say I'm going to win because of my fucking projections. Um, Carlos Correa for five bucks. Oh, Abner Uribe. He was on my list of guys to throw. Going once. Going twice. 
I'm going to take him off my list just because I got him in my name. MJ Melendez. I'm going to pass Point Melendez. Points. Point points. So. Gavin Lux. Normally a Lux guy, but I got a lot of Lux already. Oh, two bucks on Lux. And I have a new guy that I have pegged. Uh, Mize is on my list of guys to throw. Um, so, definitely uh, thinking about the same there. Oh, there goes Steven Matz. I don't want to go two bucks on Steven Matz. No, I'll let him out. Da, da, da. You are on deck. I am on deck. Thank you. Um, and I've got Seth Lugo. I got Lugo in my main now. So I'm going to let Lugo go. Going twice. Going twice. So. All right. So team two and team five both have a lot of money and a lot of fucking pitchers, I guess. God damn. Um, all right. Who can maybe I will throw Mize right here. I get Mize for a dollar. I'll be fine with it. Going once. Going twice. So All right, I got Mize for a dollar. Nick Pollock's gonna like my pitching staff. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I'd get Mize for a dollar, but I'll take it. Mackenzie Gore for four bucks. Jesus. All right. Well, now nobody has twenty dollars. Lee Severino for three bucks. All right. What? Uh, they paused the auction for something. Yeah, Mize for a dollar and Gore for four is crazy. Um, I don't even like Mize, but I mean, I don't dislike him, but uh. I'm just surprised he went for a dollar considering he's in the rotation. Uh, okay. Why, why have you, um, I don't know why you've contacted them for help. You couldn't afford him. Your max bid was three and he went three. Yeah. He wanted to nominate for three. Well, he didn't. <sighs> Too bad. <laughs> This is giving me time to take guys off of my list that have already gone. Going uh, once, going twice. Uh, so.
Yuri Perez for a dollar. Going once. Going twice. I'm going to go two. Going once. Going twice. What's that, Yuri? So. They said they don't recommend surgery, so. I've got three players and eleven dollars. Jose Siri. Yeah, basically same. Mize and uh, Gore. No, I mean, Gore's got better strikeout upside, but Mize is a much safer floor. I mean, so. Oh, and I just thought about the offensive player. Oh, one of the other offensive players I want to think about taking here. No, I've got two guys I want. <laughs> Once. I only have room for one. So. Marcus Stroman for three dollars. Yumi Garcia for a dollar. I now have the second most amount of money. So. Maybe not for long. Max Meyer. He would have been a reserve pick for me. Twice. Oh. Griffin Canning. Mm. I only have two pitcher spots left, and I got two guys I want. So, as much as I like Canning, I'm just going to pass on it. Just one guy, team two, has got so much money. But he only has one pitcher spot left, so. You are on deck. I am on deck. All right. What do I do here? Throw out a... Who are you going to throw out for $2? Alex oh, Okay, that's a good pick. I like that. Going once. Going twice. So. Someone going to snake this guy. Uh, we're going to go for more than 2 bucks. No? You got him. Okay. So. All right. What do I do here? Oh, actually, there's like three guys I want. Oh, shit. Okay. Um. Well. I guess I throw out the... Guy I want the least. Oh, well, that's not going to be done. Ah, damn it. All right. I threw out Trevor Dollar. Roger for a dollar. All right. Trevor Rogers. Luis Heal. So I have two for ten. I have two five dollar players here, or a one dollar player and a nine dollar player. Lane Thomas is gone. He's long gone. Went for like fifteen bucks. Zach Littel, here we go. So we threw him out for three bucks. The guy who tried to throw someone out for three bucks last time and didn't get him. We threw him out for a dollar. Made sure he didn't make that mistake again. Okay. Throw out a pitcher here so that way I know I can get my dude. Throw out a pitcher. He did. Throw out Nick Lodolo. Perfect. Okay, because right now that means. Perfect. So I can get my pitcher that I want here. No matter what. Only 
Twenty once. Thank you, Mary. Twenty twice. Someone just asked a really Twenty. stupid question. I'm sorry, but you shouldn't be asking the question that got asked was uh, if two players have a three max bid, who gets the player? The player who bids first. How are that with that UT spot? Yeah, so I'm uh, I'm definitely going to put a guy who can hit for power. Both guys that I'm targeting here. Um, and I've got the most amount of money in terms of a max bid. Um, so I should be able to get both the guys I want. Question is, will somebody push me? Uh, of course, my board just refreshed. Um, I am on deck. J.D. Davis. It's not the guy I want. Um, okay. So I'm going to do the pitcher here, I think. Uh, I'm going to get my boy Dean Kramer. Because um, I know I can. Question is, how far does someone want to push me? They've already been pushed up to three. Boom. $3 Max Kramer. Okay. Or Dean Kramer. Okay. So that leaves me with a $7 offensive player. So. And I don't believe only one person has a $7 Max bid. So as long as I throw them out for $7, I got them. So I just got to make sure that uh, if I bid, so the question is, which one do I want? I got to check to make sure. Did I get either? I don't think I got either of these guys on my uh, on my main. Oh, I think I did get one of these guys on my main. Yeah, I did get one of these guys. So I still may take him though. <sighs> Whoa! Except for the guy who just had seven dollar bid, just went seven bucks on Sal Freelick. Um, so I mean, at this point, now I can say who it is because even if they're watching. Um, I'm deciding between Colton Kowser and, I mean, I guess I shouldn't say who it was in case I can get one in the reserve. <laughs> um, so, you know, if I get sniped on Kowser in the reserve, I get sniped on Kowser in the reserve. So I think I'm going to take the other guy. I love Kowser too, but is he a starter? I mean, how bad is uh maybe I will take Kowser. Hold on. So let's see. Uh how, how bad is Austin Hayes' injury? Uh his shoulder is fine. He's playing in Fort Myers. Okay, so Kowser's still a bench guy for right now. He made the team at least, yeah. Uh, that was Lars Newtbar. Now Mitch Haniger. <sighs> oh, Daniel Hudson. That was one of the other guys that I thought about doing because I, you just get that cheap win. It's a good play right here. But I didn't want to lose Kramer. Maybe I should have done that over Yuri. All right. Um, I'm going to take Colt Keith uh, for $7. I don't think Mullins is that at all. No. Don't say that.
Twice. Yeah, no. Cedric Mullins should be oh. fine, right? Oh, yeah. No, no. He's already. Uh, so. Scared me, though. Uh, so now we just see who makes it to the reserves. Keith Cole. There we go, baby. Hamstring. Hamstring. So Keith Cole, Cedric Mullins. I think are the only two from my main that are also on this team. <laughs> so, did a good job diversifying. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. All of a sudden, I got a coughing problem. Nathaniel Lowe, it's a good pick. Got stashed him for a little bit. <laughs> oh, allergic to his team. Um, so. I like the team. I don't love the team. But, uh, Tim Anderson. I got Tim Anderson, my man. Yeah, I, I, I wish they'd move someone to open up a spot for uh, cows or two, like Austin Hayes. <laughs> But I don't think it's going to happen. No, Hayes could just get supplanted. I mean, Mullins technically could get supplanted. So, fortunately, though, for me, I have the 13th pick in the reserve. So, you get two picks, in a, you know, close to each other. Um, but I got to wait for a while. And there goes Ryan Weathers, who is on my list. Uh, Got a full team though. I just gotta wait for other people to fill their team. Still got. Oh, we're almost done. Uh, look, this one guy who's got four fucking spots, well, not three spots to fill, but most people have just one or two. Michael Kopech for a dollar. Going once. Going twice. <laughs> Going once. Going twice. So. Ezekiel Duran's a decent pick, but the problem is all of a sudden they have all their almost all their guys back healthy. Oh, Tyler Wells, who's on my list. As you hear from the ding, ding, ding. Brian De La Cruz. Tommy Edmund. Another stash. Once. Going twice. So. Braxton Garrett, another stash. Going once. Going twice. So.
Ah, Garrett Crochet. Damn it. Uh, seven round reserve, and it's a snake draft, so I'm picking 13th. I've had the shittiest luck in terms of my draft spots. Joel Biamps, another fucking guy off my list. I'm off my list. Really, I shouldn't take anybody off my list at this point. Manny of Suarez. Going once. Going twice. So. Matt Walner. Oh. Going once. Going twice. All right. Two more guys to nominate after this. Oh. And we're starting the reserves. Nelson Velasquez. Going once. Going twice. So. All right, here we go. Starting the reserves. I'll move the draft board down so you guys can watch the reserves. Da, da, da. So now we just got to wait. For our pick. <laughs> oh, we got a two minute or one more minute to wait before it starts. All right. Oh yeah, Kepler guard. I, I'm, in, I'm in spot 13, so I gotta wait a little while before I know I'm gonna pick. But he's he's still there, the guy that I was talking about earlier. So I'm just kind of looking through right now and trying to figure out uh, if there's other people that I might just want to throw on my reserve list. I guess I'll throw him on there, even though I don't like him. All right, we're live. Oh, Dropping cigarettes. All right, so. Nestor or uh, uh, Zach Neto went first. Eduardo Rodriguez. There's some team stashing way too many guys. I got one stash and I'll feel great about it. <sighs> Hunter Harvey. <laughs> Jordan Westberg, uh, early in RCM, Jordan Westberg, Justin Lawrence. I guess you guys can see that. I'm going to call out. Uh, 
Jordan Hicks, Andrew Abbott. Just adding so many names. Uh, All right, so far my dude is still there. I'm gonna get sniped right here, right here. This team, I'm fucking calling it. Oh no, I didn't. All right, now right here, I'm gonna get sniped. Now I'm gonna get sniped. This has to happen. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I'll take Colton Kowser. Thank you. No, Raffaello went for like eight bucks in the auction. His price just shot up. He was an afterthought, and then he just, now he's like so fucking expensive. All right, so now I got to figure out who I want next. Uh, 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 uh. I think maybe that guy. Oh, Paul's boy. Ronaldo. Um, you are on deck. I'm on deck. You are up. All right, uh, this may be a mistake, but I'm just I'm just so enticed. I don't know if he's going to make the rotation, but I'll take Jord, the Jared Jones. Yeah, especially because I already have Yuri Perez, who might be out till fucking May. Like I can't, I can't stash. Well, I just, I just potentially stash Eric Jones, but um, I can't, I can't stash really another one. So, uh, see what makes it back around to me. Uh, probably need one more hitter. And then another pitcher, or and then a bunch of pitchers. So much stashing going on in this draft, though. Or this auction. Like, I get why people love to stash, but I just think it's a fucking mistake. The dude who almost caught me in my auction last year, um, the, one of the reasons he didn't is because he stashed so many players he had to take some zeros. And had he not done that, he probably would have won. It's just a mistake. All right, so I can I can take off Hunter Renfro because and Johan Ross because I already got a backup outfielder. Oh, look at Allen. That was one I thought about. I haven't played this format. All the strategies are format. Yeah, for sure. Lorenzen is available, but I, I'm not a Lorenzen guy. Oh. Oh, JP Sears and Clark Schmidt just went. Not oh, great. I heard. 
I was like literally just looking at JP Zeros' line. All right, so I need to also think about like how many guys can I start this weekend? So uh, one, two, three, four, five. Probably just five pitchers. So I need to get guys who are potentially going to start or potentially can get me in this weekend too. So that's the next guy and that guy. Yeah, he's on the list, but I don't think he's going to start this weekend. Which makes him less of a priority. Uh, guess him. He should start this weekend if he's healthy. Maybe I can just look him up on Twitter and see if there's any update. I'm guessing your format doesn't reward relievers who don't close. It, no, it doesn't. Um, I mean, obviously, clean innings are clean innings. Uh, but one of the things you can do and that I like to do is pick up relievers for the first weekend that could back the door their way into saves. So um, I'll definitely grab a couple of those probably here. So... Yeah, Mike Soroka isn't good, though. Um, not that he isn't good. He doesn't pitch a lot of innings in recent years. And so, oh, my God, dude. Like, I, there's going to be some teams that, like, I just don't feel like they could have a active roster to fucking um, active pitching roster. Like, you are either. Oh. Well, there goes one of the guys I wanted, Michael Bush. But I'm going to take Brock Stewart here. Um, okay, so. Team 10 has got Garrett Cole and Shane Boz. So I guess you've got enough to start an active pitching roster. But man, is that a risky and I think he also did he also stash someone else? I feel like he did. Maybe he didn't. I just felt like he did. Okay, and see Jacob DeGrom, like you can't hold on to him all season. How many stashes does he have? Uh, well, I guess he doesn't have many stashes either. This is a long time to hold on to him. Um, all right, let me take Jordan Leisure. And now, all of a sudden, I got guys who can go in and maybe somebody I luck, luck into for a save or two. All right, so now I'm going to figure out another offensive player, too.
Alex Cobb was the guy I was literally just looking up. You probably shouldn't have thought about him anyways. Um, just because he's uh, going to be out for a week or two, but a week or two is not bad. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure Jason Adams off board. Yes. Uh, okay, I need to figure out an offensive player to take. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Who is the offensive player I wouldn't mind having? Mm-hmm. Mm, that's not a bad one, uh, John. Uh, Curtis Means going to be on the short side of platoon and probably won't be up very long, so. I like Curtis Mead long term, though. Uh. <laughs> Does it fit my team though? Oh yeah, maybe. <laughs> Move him to the top. Parker Meadows went in the auction, yeah. Went for like seven or eight bucks. Like I was actually a little surprised. Uh, team fourteen because he's very good. I like him. All right, so Brady Singer was one that I actually thought about, but I took him in my main, and I hate Brady Singer to fucking blow me up twice. But he shouldn't pitch this weekend, but he should line up for a pretty sweet two-start uh, in Baltimore, so in Camden Yards, um, and then home versus the White Sox. So, and he has looked better in spring. He's added new pitches. Uh, I don't know how much I trust him, but I took him a main just so I can stream him and then kind of see where we go from there. Jordan Wicks, damn, he was on my list. Michael Walker's on my list, but he got hit by a comebacker today and may have broken a finger. Calling it a bruise, but they also uh, said they weren't going to release them or the uh, X-ray results until tomorrow. So that doesn't tell me. That doesn't sound good. Uh, all right. Is my dude going to make it to me? Is my dude going to make it to me? If he doesn't, it's not a big deal because you can always get someone else. But is my dude going to make it to me? I guess Walker, I guess Singer could throw this weekend. Who do the, who do the, they play? That's a good question. Who do they open with? They open with Tigers? Because John means, he means business. He opened with the Twins. I wouldn't mind that, I guess. All right, don't snipe me here. Don't snipe me here. Don't snipe me. Please don't snipe me. Well, you didn't snipe me on this pick, but 
I did. I was interested in Ronald Blanco. Trevor Bauer. Oh, gross. Come on. He's never played again. Um, okay. I mean, I'm wearing a Sean Bouchard jersey. So I got to take Sean Bouchard. <laughs> Yuck. Uh, my, what, 28th round pick? Not worried about it. Uh Oh, Ryan Nelson. There he goes. Bow hurt pick will trigger her wander next. That'd be that'd be, and then finish up with Julio your or your eyes like your new talkman. <laughs> All right, I got three guys in my queue. All right, I still have three guys in my queue. All right, let's take some Jeff Hoffman. So now I think I've got enough pitchers that are going to start this week. So that's that's a good thing, or that are going to pitch this week. All right, so now we got to line up for our last pick. Just get some backup guys in case two so guys in my queue don't make it back. That's gross, but I'll do it. Well, actually. Oh, no. Oh no, I'm no. I put Kyle Gibson in my queue and then I just looked up who they're facing the open opening weekend and it's the Dodgers. I can't even do that for the mean. Get an infielder. I've got a bunch of guys who are infield eligible, including uh I got like that's why I could grab the extra outfielder because I can move Donovan from the outfield into the infield. So I don't need another infielder. I guess I could use a backup first baseman in case something happens to Mount Castle. Is there a backup first baseman worth drafting? Yeah, there's that guy, that guy, that guy. So uh if I, I I will I will pick one up if the guy I want the most goes. Uh, all right. I'm look. Oh. <coughs> uh, I rolled the chat moves on my list. Uh, France is long gone. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I don't have a backup for is first base. Um, so actually, I if if the guy um, I want right here goes before it gets to me, then I will probably pick up a backup first baseman here. And I've got three queued up. So one of them should make it to me. Uh, no, Rooker's gone. Rooker, I think, went, he went for like two or three dollars in the actual uh, thing. Okay, so far the guy I have 
at the top of my queue is still there. Actually, all four guys in my queue are still there. Uh, I just want to make sure. Pretty sure this guy is in the rotation. He is. How long he'll be in the rotation is a different question altogether. Let's see what his spring stats look like. Oh, whoa. Holy crap, that's a lot of walks. Maybe I don't take him. <laughs> um, five walks in five and two-thirds. Is that bad? Is, is five walks in five and two-thirds bad? An 18.5% walk rate? Is that bad? Now, on the plus side, it's got a 33.3% strikeout rate. Oh, my God. That team took another stash. You can't hold those guys forever. It's okay. You can you can do that. Whatever. Um, all right. I want to look at um, All right. So they start with the Yankees. And then they go to Toronto and then okay, well JP France was the guy I was thinking of. Um oh yeah, there's been a ton of stashes in this league, and I don't get it. Uh, I mean, fine, waste your reserve spots. Um, all right, so I'm gonna take Lamont Wade uh as my reserve infielder. He's also got outfield eligibility. Uh I feel pretty good about this team. Like, I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. Yeah, especially because they, they open with the Padres, and the Padres have no left-handed starters. So Wade's going to play every game. So, uh, JP France taking talking about a mystery pitch before spring training made me very, laugh very hard. Um, he's walking every – five walks and five and two-thirds is not encouraging for JP France. Um, so, uh, he was a guy I just had on my list, um, but he's a walk issues all throughout the minors and that hasn't stopped. Um, so he's a whip killer. Um, so I'm glad I looked that up before I just dug in. Uh, so yeah, that's going to wrap it all up for, uh, this. I'm going to have a smoke while I decompress a little bit and I'll, I'll check, go check my fab while I chat with you guys. This fab did run. Uh, let's see what I got. Um, if I got anything. Um, start with my main event. Uh, I don't know that I went to go fab much in my main event. Um, Oh, I did go to Fab uh, and I dropped Michael Massey. Okay, so I got Eddie Rosario for Michael Massey. Uh, kind of a panic pick last second. Oh, I was the runner up on Jared Trillo. All right. All right. Um. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I really appreciate you all sticking with me. Um, you know, it was actually a really quick auction for the most part, for under four out four and a half hours. Um, oh, love this. So TGFBI, uh, holy crap. Some people spent some money. Griffin Jacks went for $77, um, in my TGFBI league. Uh, Louis Hill went for $69. Nice. Trevor McGill went for 48. Joel Piomps went for 42. Uh, Max Meyer went for 31. Abner Ube went for 21. Um, Brock Stewart went for 18. Garrett Crochet went for 9. Um, but I got two $3 pickups. I got Daniel Hudson, who I get an automatic win for. So $3 a fab for a win. Uh, and then Ryan Weathers for three bucks. Uh, 
Yeah, so auctions are great. Auctions in person are way better than online, but they are fun online. And you just get to build your team any way you want, right? It's just it's just such a cool way of doing an uh, doing um uh doing a draft. You know, snake drafts are fun, but like you only can only get a certain amount of guys, right? You know, uh whereas in an auction you can build your team any way you want. You want to spend all your money on the top guys and then have a bunch of $1 players? You can do that. You want to spread the wealth? You can do that. Uh, Far Cry from the five to six live uh, hour live auctions I used to have in the old uh, NL <laughs> days. Yeah, like I love a good live auction. Live auctions for me, I love. Um, $3 for Weathers is a great value, right? I'll fucking take that. Um, for me, I love the $3 Hudson because I automatically get the win. Um, from his uh, uh, time in uh, uh, Korea. So, uh, all right, let's see. Mate, uh, my online $150 auction. I got Hector Norris for $3. Um, okay. Uh, my second online auction, I got Victor Robles for $3. I bid $3 on everybody. Um, uh, my other online auction, I didn't bid on anybody because I had already, uh, I just did it like two days ago. Uh, Barf League. Oh, Barf League. I got a bunch of $3 players. Sean Bouchard for $3. Uh, Daniel Hudson for $3. Jordan Witch for $3. Abner Uribe for $3. And John Birdie for $3. All right. Second win. Uh, and then that's all my fab. Oh, except for um, labor. I don't, I don't, Paul, if, Paul, if you're still here, how do they tell you about how you got or how your labor bids went? I've never been in labor. Um, uh, and when do they go off? Have they already gone off? RT Sports. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, um, <laughs> transactions they go off at midnight eastern okay uh, so I still got a couple hours until they go my labor team is just absolutely ravaged by injuries Literally, when they put all my guys on the IL for my labor team, uh, it left me with only eight active pitchers. So, a good start. At least it's a 12 team league, and there's a lot of replacement value. So, uh, that's at least the good part. Um, uh, So we'll see how that works out later. All right, guys. Well, um, I appreciate you only have six active pitchers. Yeah. You drafted a lot of already injured guys. I, I don't think any of my guys were injured. Well, no, actually, I think I drafted a couple. Um, but unlimited IL, at least there. So uh, I only do deep auctions and still uh, and still live. Much more strategic than snake drafts. Uh, and we do up to 15 keepers. That's what I don't have anymore that I would love to have. It's like a keeper auction league. But um, I'd only want to do it in person. So. Uh, and I just don't have enough people in my area, I think, that would do an auction keeper league. I'm sure I'd do if I really shopped around. But my original... Um, not 15 keepers, but you can sign players to multi-year contracts, minor league slots. Yeah. Um, my original league was a uh, fifth, or sorry, 12 team ale only four by four. We eventually turned it to five by five, but it was a, a keeper league. You could keep up to 10 players, I think it was 10 or 15 players. I can't remember. Um, but I loved that league, man. It was awesome until they fucking kicked me out uh, for uh, winning too much. So um, it was my original league. Uh, played in it for like 
10 plus years. Um, and uh, I still miss it. It was a lot of fun. Um, so uh, that is going to do it for me. Um, thanks again, guys. Um, they kicked me out. Yeah. Um, you moved from New York to SF. You're in hey, SF. Oh, then you move back. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm about an hour north of San Francisco. So, um, uh, I've got, uh, my online championship tomorrow night. If you're up late, it starts at around this time, uh, 10 PM, 10 5 PM Eastern, 7 5 PM Pacific for the Justin Mason or beat Justin Mason, uh, league online championship. I think my auction went all right. It's not my usual kind of build, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's something it's definitely something. So, uh, you know, uh, I like it, uh, overall, but it's definitely just not my usual build. So, uh, be interested to see how I've got another one of these auctions, um, 8 PM Eastern on Wednesday, uh, with a whole different crew of people. Um, so, uh, but another $1,500 auction. So I'll be back doing the auction on Wednesday and I've got the 12 team OC tomorrow night at, like I said, uh, 10 PM Eastern, 7 PM Pacific. So, uh, definitely, uh, subscribe. If you're not already subscribed to the YouTube, just Mason FWFB. Uh, I will see you guys later.